Figma going in to Clavio. Pretty profound, huh? My name's Gavin, I run an email and SMS marketing agency, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to design emails in Figma and then bring them into Clavio so that you can actually, A, reduce the amount of time you spend on designing emails, but also design emails that you know are gonna be optimized for different devices and convert at a higher rate. If you find this video useful, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. God, I feel corny sometimes. And check out the newsletter as well. Check out the newsletter in the description down below. Really cool stuff. I put out a bunch of content. And if you have any questions, ask. This is all I do, email and SMS marketing. I don't really have much of a social life anymore. So let's get into the video. So what you're looking at here is actually a master template for a email design that we use for training purposes with my own agency. You actually have access to this link. Uh, it's linked in the description of this video along with a bunch of other cool resources. So take a look at this. The thing that you have to be, or rather keep in mind of, really when designing is dimensions, okay? So when you have dimensions within your email marketing, you have to be aware that people are gonna be looking at your emails on both the uh, mobile device as well as the desktop, okay? So we have a mobile version and a desktop version that we're designing our emails for. As you can see here, the desktop version is always 600 in width, and then on mobile, 375 in width. Now when you're designing these emails, I like to actually design them in Figma first, just so I can get an overview of how things are gonna look when we compress them into 375. Because a lot of the times, things like this, for example, if we design this here for desktop, and we switch this to mobile, all the text would compress and it would be too hard to read on a mobile device. And if people are using their thumbs, they're not gonna be able to easily click these things. So. Keep that in mind first. We're gonna first focus on our header, or rather our header image for the desktop version. The first thing we wanna do is make sure if we do have an offer that is front and center, above the fold. Above the fold is anything that somebody sees when they open an email instantly without scrolling in their email address. I'll quickly show you what that looks like in a live example from say a, an email I received recently from another client. Let me show you this here. If you can see this here, this here, is above the fold. And you can see that Brevo here, even though they've kind of messed up their personalization here, they've done a really good job in terms of having the above the fold uh, offer, or rather the offer in the above the fold section. So I don't even have to scroll to see this offer. See, I scroll to learn more. But here, I have pretty much everything I need in this header section, especially in the header image. So what we do with these emails is we make sure that we have our core offer our core message and what we want the reader to do very clearly in the above the fold section. So as you can see here, we're giving them a 10% off their first order. That is above the fold. It's right above, right here. They can click this with the code. It'll automatically apply the discount code at checkout. You scroll down a little bit more, then we start having the core message of the, uh, of the email itself. We have the body copy. Now, here's the thing with email marketing. When you're designing these emails, you have the uh, image, and then you have a mixture of HTML typically. So this here, and I'll show you how to do this in a second, is the header image. Notice here, it's an image. When we build this and we export it from Figma, and I'll show you how to do that and build it into Clavio, this is gonna come through as an image. Now we can export the entire email as an image, in fact. And to be honest, that's not gonna affect deliverability as much as it used to back in the day. So having pure image-based emails isn't a massive red flag or an issue anymore. And if you want to have a really beautifully designed email, you're not gonna be able to design it using Clavio's builder, or rather it's built-in builder. You're actually gonna to have to design in Figma and export this entire thing as an image. So let me show you kind of what I mean here. So we have this image here, clear call to action in the header section, then we have a bit of body copy. If we wanted these little custom arrows here to be within the body copy, we would need to export this as an image because there'd be no way to have an HTML block here, like a written piece of text within the email and these images here. You would have to export this entire thing as an image, okay? I hope that makes sense. I'll explain it when I go to the build stage in a second too. So watch, watch to the end of the video. But then we have our secondary call to action, right? So this is the secondary button that we have for somebody after they scroll a little bit further because they see this, they read the body copy, they're like, okay, I'm a little bit more interested. Instead of forcing them to scroll back up, we then have the second call to action, which they can then be like, all right, discover deliciousness, I'll click that, go to the website. 
Below that, I usually like to include some sort of product focus within these emails. You can see here, we've gone ahead and just added very clear call to actions with the product outlines slapped right here, nice and easy. Now you'll notice the difference here in the desktop version and the difference here in the mobile version. And this is why it's really important to design with desktop and mobile in mind, especially since about 60% of users are actually gonna be accessing their emails from their phone. So if anything, if you're prioritizing which one you wanna go for, I would actually make sure that you have the mobile in mind first. So you can see we have the product focuses here, nice, easy, you can do this with collections. I like to include this in pretty much every email because if the primary focus doesn't actually capture them, we like to interlace some product options that they can click then we have our secondary focus. Now you don't have to have a secondary focus in a lot of these emails. And keep in mind, if someone's getting this far down into the email, they're interested in your email, and they're not necessarily engaged or compelled enough to click here. So the reason we have a secondary focus is potentially to say, hey, if this first section didn't compel them to click, perhaps the secondary option will compel them to, uh, to click further down into the email. Now. After that secondary focus, I like to include social proof as much as possible. That comes to the form of reviews. If your store doesn't have reviews, you're in a bit of a tough position, but if it does, leverage those reviews into the emails. Now this client here didn't actually have photos of the people that were viewing. The more real your reviews look, the better. So these are real reviews, right, from real people. And you can see that we've included their names and their full names to add that validity, except for Maddie here, okay? So the more real the review looks, the better and the more social proof and compelling it's gonna be for somebody to go ahead and actually say, you know what, this looks real, I trust this. Nice and clear and note it speaks to the product. Don't just pull random reviews, right? If you're focusing on promoting the product, make sure the reviews reference the product being discussed. I see a lot of people mess this up where they're like, we're gonna sell this new chair and then the reviews are talking about a table because they've just pulled some random review off the website. If you have photos of people who uploaded their reviews and some review platforms allow this, get those photos in here because that's gonna make it look even more real. The more real the reviews look, the more compelling as a piece of social proof it looks like or it is. Now, trust badges, not always essential, but I do like to have trust badges where I can interlace in here. You can put them in the bottom. I like to actually even work them up a little bit further up if we have space. In this case, I didn't want to distract the reader from what our core messaging is here. So we've just chucked them near the bottom here. Social callouts, always have social proof, give people an option to unsubscribe as well. That's the general layout of an email. The mobile version is gonna be pretty much the same, but just making sure you're factoring in the text differences here. Cause you'll notice here, this text here, 16 font, right? And on mobile, it's also 16 font. If we took this structure and tried forcing it into mobile version, so if we were like, hey, we're gonna take all this here, right? Take it all. Let me just do this here. Uh, copy, paste, okay. Command C. And I tried forcing this into a 375 format, it would get way smaller meaning it would be hard to read on mobile. So we would then create a separate block here for mobile only, where it's just as stacked, right? We still have all the information there, but it's just displayed in a different way. Yes, it does make the email a little bit longer, but it's not a massive issue because you're still getting the core messaging in there, okay? Now, two routes to go here when building into Klaviyo. I'm gonna open up a Klaviyo account here, and I'm gonna show you. I'm actually gonna go ahead and build into my personal account and I'll show you what we do here. So we have our designs in Figma. We're gonna go into campaigns, okay? Next, we're just gonna create a template, okay? We're gonna go ahead and select our segment, just a dummy segment, doesn't really matter. And then we're gonna go create an email. Now, if we're starting from scratch here, okay? These emails are gonna look pretty blank, like this. To build it though, we need to export these elements from Figma directly into Klaviyo. Now, if you want all this customized, like make it look really good, all you have to do is you can literally export this entire thing as blocks, as one entire block, and build it directly into, into Klaviyo. It's not actually gonna affect deliverability as much as it used to because all image-based emails it's no longer a red flag. I see massive brands doing just purely based image or image based emails. So take a look at this, delete this, 
delete the social link section, and then we're gonna go ahead and upload. Uh, styles, image, select image, select, boom. All right, we have this, watch this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the image up into sections so that, upload. See, it looks a little blurred there, so we can fix that. But as you can see here, this whole section here, we can crop it. Because this bottom section here, if we're linking to specific products, we're gonna need separate callouts. I'll show you what I mean. So crop this. And the great thing here is, if it's just an image, it's gonna show up fine in dark mode, meaning it's not gonna invert. So let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna go down, save. Save this. Here we go, we have our cropped image. Now, see the resolution on this, it's not great, so we can go back into Clay, uh, Figma, and when you export, you can export an increased resolution, four times the amount, right? Five times the amount. But for illustrative purposes, we're just gonna keep it like this right now. But notice here, how in the bottom section of this design here, we have these emails, or rather these images, which are gonna to need to link to individual products. If we uploaded this as one image block, it wouldn't work because it's gonna take them to one place. So, if we go into here now, we'll go here, we'll go columns, okay? Columns, two columns, equal distribution, and we can actually go ahead and drop our images and crop what we just did. Select, crop, oops, wrong one. We go replace, so we got our selected image. And now watch this. Bing, see, and now we only wanna have that one. So we take it up, take it up. Take it up a bit more, a bit more. Now, see what we're doing here? So now, bing, we have that. We go save. Let me do the exact same here. Now obviously like the images is a bit distorted so you'd have to export the res a little bit more to increase the resolution. Let me go here, let me go select, we go crop, we scroll down. Can you kind of see what I'm doing? Then we link individually to these products. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. This, for most people designing emails in-house, is all you need. You can get a little bit more fancy, and we do with our agency, we get a little bit more complex with it. But if you're doing this yourself, this is gonna get you to 95%. See what we're doing here? Bing, 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 bing. Look at that. We align it. Nice. Save. Now it's a little bit out, but you'd adjust it slightly. All right, crop it a little bit more. Bring it up here. Uh, put that there. Bring that down. Make sure it's in line. Crop this up a little bit. Cool. Save. There you go. Then what you do is you go ahead and alt text. Make sure you have an alt text here. So this would be too dark chocolate chocolate almond. And you'd link directly to that product. So then you'd link directly to that product, right? And when you're building on mobile, see it actually stacks. But you want to make sure that this is a desktop only version. Uh, where are we here? Display. Show only on desktop. Display, show only on desktop. In the mobile version, it won't be there, and you'll just adjust. But notice here, see it's too small on mobile. So you need to export the mobile version separately. You just rinse and repeat. That's how you design in Figma and then bring it into Klaviyo as a purely HTML, or rather image-based email. And the good thing is these emails will invert nicely into, uh, they won't even invert at all when it goes to dark mode because they're images, and images don't invert. 
for people who are doing email marketing themselves, this is largely going to get you where you need to go. Uh, if you want a little bit more complex advice on how to work this stuff, let me know. I'm happy to get on a call. Link in the description. Subscribe to my newsletter. A bunch of cool stuff. And if you like this video, check out the channel. Subscribe. Two new videos every single week focusing on just email and SMS marketing. Thanks for watching.